$15,000 worth of marble just in this shower alone. But also you will have the Universal Studios water park that's being built inside the fields as well. And I say smaller with air quotes, all right? This is just one of several stores inside the hotel. What if I told you that you could get on the ground floor of multi-billion dollar development here in the heart of Frisco, have everything at your fingertips, what they are calling the 15 minute city. That is exactly what you are getting at the fields of Frisco right here. And this is ground floor. They are just now starting to build the homes, however, just on this home alone for Huntington, there was a 1,100 person wait list. That's down to 500 now. A lot of people drop out and you still have a little bit of an opportunity, but they're only releasing 40 homes right now. And if that's something you wanna get on the ground floor of, you have to act fast. There's a few other builders, which we'll tell you here in a little bit that are coming into this area as well. But you will see off to the side here, this is, will be a $4.2 million amenity center in itself. Over here to my left will be a nice park area featured right here in the center. But you're minutes from the PGA headquarters and two PGA golf courses that we are going to show you and tour you around at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around for that. But otherwise, this development is going to be happening over the next couple of years, but always with new construction, the sooner you get in, the more appreciation you're gonna have built into the value of your home and your property going down the road. This is going to be one of the biggest golf cart communities that you could ever be a part of. And you may never have to leave if you don't want to. That's how they are designing this entire property. But even if you do wanna leave, you're just minutes from the star downtown Frisco, Legacy West, Plano, everywhere you need to go. So many companies and corporations are moving right here to this area and that is what's spurring the growth here in the Frisco area. It will be the new hub. I say all the time, Dallas-Fort Worth, which is referred to as DFW, will become DFFW, which is Dallas-Frisco-Fort Worth. But we're gonna take you around, show you a lot of drone footage of the whole entire development of this area, which again, ground floor right now, but this is spanning massive acreage here and going to be a work in progress, but they are designing so much opportunity here. You do not wanna miss out on this. So if you have any questions about purchasing in this neighborhood or even what's going on, just to get a feel for it, make sure you check the description below. My name is Levi Lassick and my business partner, Travis and I, we get calls, texts, emails, Zoom calls every single day from people just like you who are making their move here in the Dallas area. And we would love to help you secure something here sooner rather than later. Later. Prices will be going up. Prices are on an increase here in Dallas. They don't seem to be letting up at all. They're just continuing to go up. We have record low inventory and it's just something that you want to start your discussion now versus later. Let me tell you something. Whenever I was in high school, I used to drive up here to Frisco. I used to clean floors for Chief Auto Parts. Let me know in the comments if you're old enough to even know what Chief Auto Parts is. That was uh, bought out by AutoZone. I'm sure plenty of you know what AutoZone is, but I used to clean the floors in high school in all of Dallas for Chief Auto Parts. Had this big buffer, I would cruise around up here. Frisco, this is what Frisco looked like in 1998. There was literally just a Chief Auto Parts store here. And I, I'm one of those people now that is saying, well, I should have bought some property back then. But back then I looked at all this open field of Frisco and I thought, who would ever live up here? It's so far from Dallas. Uh, there's nothing to do, nothing's happening. Wow, was I wrong at that point? But of course I wasn't in real estate in high school either. So now Frisco been named several times the number one city in America, fastest growing, corporations, companies are moving here. 
and you still have opportunities like you're going to see in the fields of Frisco today. I'm gonna to give you an overview of everything that's happening, what's about to happen. We're gonna take you through that amazing property of Huntington Homes. There's a couple of more model homes here that we're gonna take you through as well. And again, you have any questions at all whatsoever, make sure to reach out in the description below and we'll just have a conversation, figure out what's right for you and your family, what's the plan, what's the goal, what's the timeline and where we go from there. But otherwise, there's already waiting lists building up here. You wanna get on there and you would be surprised. A lot of people may look at the length of that list and say, well, I don't know, that just seems out of reach, but you'd be surprised how fast that can dwindle down and you could still get an opportunity here. But if it's not with Huntington, it could be with another builder. So the main thing is let us know. And let me tell you a little bit more about the Fields of Frisco. Fields of Frisco is an upcoming master plan community located in Frisco, Texas, occupying an expansive 2,544 acre site that spans the Dallas North Tollway, Preston Road, and US 380. This well-designed community will span nine communities, Brookside, The Preserve, North Fields, Point West, Fields West, Midtown East, East Village, Point East, and University Village, and is set to offer a diverse range of amenities, including residential, commercial, and retail spaces, as well as parks and the massive Omni PGA Resort. The development is expected to cost upwards of $12.7 billion. The project is planned to contain around 14,000 homes and apartments, about 18 million square feet of commercial space, two golf courses, and a massive shopping center that rivals Legacy West. The Fields of Frisco is also now home to the PGA of America's headquarters that was just recently finished and open for business. In addition, the new Frisco campus of the University of North Texas will be situated within the fields, providing educational opportunities and close proximity to residents. When John T. Landrum and C.L. Smith settled on the lands near Hawkins Settlement in Texas, Landrum received an official patent under the Homestead Act in 1854 and built a 160-acre home and farm. Over time, the ranch expanded under the ownership of Burt Fields Sr., becoming a fully functional cattle operation called Headquarters Ranch. Following Burt Sr.'s passing in 1963, his son, Burt Fields Jr., took over the family business. Alongside ranching, the Fields family had a notable presence in banking with the establishment of North Dallas Bank and Trust in 1963. In 2015, Ray L. Hunt and his partnership acquired the 2,544-acre ranch, renaming it Fields to honor its legacy. In 2018, it was announced that this ranch would be transformed into this massive development you're now seeing. And welcome to Huntington Homes, the luxury series by Highland Homes here in Fields of Frisco. This property is to die for. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you. First of all, right off to the side, I mean, this entryway in itself, the woodwork that uh, you see as you walk in is a statement piece in itself, but you have your first guest bedroom right here off to the side beautifully decorated i mean this entire house has been done very well you walk in every room in this house has an ensuite bathroom with amazing tile work you've got a walk-in shower walk-in closet uh, beautiful stonework cabinetry uh, the vanity there beautifully painted the knobs all highest of quality and then on the other side you have a half bath which also is a statement in itself. So when you have your guests over visiting and they go into that half bathroom, it's really gonna set the tone for what they're going to see in the rest of the house. But then you walk into your living area with these massive 24 foot ceilings with the wood beams across the top, three chandeliers that really, again, set the tone, set the mood in this property. Full open concept here with living, dining and kitchen, but look at these built-ins. You have your wine coolers built in too, so you can keep, uh, of course, your whites on one side, your reds on the other, and then additional storage for wine bottles down below. Beautiful built-ins with the fridge built into the cabinetry here, which is always an amazing custom 
touch. And then you walk into your secondary kitchen here, your prep kitchen. This is where when you have guests and you entertain, you can uh, completely dirty this up and, and still leave everything outside looking nice and neat. But this kitchen, just the prep kitchen in here, you've got the Sub-Zero appliances in here, beautiful cabinetry. I mean, the, the tile work, the backsplash is just stunning here open shelves. I mean, this kitchen is nicer than a lot of homes uh, kitchens in itself. Just the prep kitchen, double ovens in here. And then you walk out into your main kitchen where you've got the six burner wolf stove, which overlooks part of your backyard and onto the rest of the area out there. This custom countertop right here with the sink part of the stonework. You don't see that very often, but that is an extremely luxurious touch with the waterfall edge over here, which really just makes this stonework stand out on its own. Beautiful sliding glass doors. You're gonna see this uh, very frequently throughout this property, sliding glass doors to give you that whole indoor outdoor concept. And then as we pass through this way, you're going to come into your movie room. You walk into here, and again, they have just uh, beautifully decorated this. Lots of cool movie scenes on the wall, but you've got plenty of room for your big screen TV up here. No windows, of course, so when you shut the doors, it's gonna keep everything nice and dark in there. Then we come across here, and again, just notice all of the, the windows that go along with 24-foot ceilings in here to let in so much natural light, overlooking the backyard, overlooking the front of the house. Now. Before we head back to the primary and the outside, which you definitely want to see, let's check out the upstairs. And coming upstairs, you are going to absolutely love everything up here, just as you did downstairs. But you have the gaming area up here, TV up on the wall, room for a shuffleboard. You've got the bar back here as well so this makes it very easy for entertaining even the checkerboard is nice i mean that's the nicest checkerboard i've ever seen beautiful light fixtures with the hardwood up uh, accenting the ceiling which makes it really nice and then whenever you come around here you're going to come down the hallway to your first bedroom actually right here to the right you have this amazing half bathroom then you're gonna step into uh, one of the upstairs bedroom, which again is absolutely amazing. This is decorated to the nines. Plenty of room in here with the ensuite bathroom that has very intricate and detailed tile work that just makes this place absolutely amazing. Then we're gonna head over down the hallway a little bit more and not too far into the next bedroom again full walk-in closet on these rooms and ensuite bathrooms. You walk in here again, beautiful tile work through here in the shower, all different, but normally I like tile work to be somewhat the same, but because of the uniqueness of each and every room and the tile, it really adds to the level of luxury in this home. Now, as you come down the catwalk here, you've got this beautiful built-in desk area with open shelving as well. It's a nice little area for the kids or maybe even to work from home, although you have your amazing office downstairs, but uh, somewhere to, to place the kids, let them get this area nice and, uh, I don't know, it's still a little too nice to dirty up there, but it'd be a good place for them. And you come into another bedroom up here, again, decorated to the best quality. And again, just different tile work, different stone work, this shower, is beautiful. I mean, I love that tile work. It's extremely unique. They've carried it through the backsplash, through the countertops here, which really makes it stand out. I haven't seen that design before and I really love it. It's amazing. But again, it's all about that outdoor living here in Texas uh, pretty much most of the year and you're going to love this backyard. So let's go and check that out. Now, before we head into the backyard, I wanna take you off and show you this side area right over here where this will be where your garage is. But again, you have another half bathroom right here 
uh, which makes it convenient whenever you have a lot of people over that you have a couple of those half baths. Then you come into the mud room area where you can hang things up from the garage. Uh, you've got your laundry room right off to the side. Again, beautiful tile work just in the laundry room in itself. Built-in cabinetry and a sink that makes it really convenient whenever you're doing laundry. This is where the garage will be. And as we head outside, again, you have these sliding glass doors that give you easy access. And during the summer, spring, fall, when we have really nice weather here, then it just gives you that indoor-outdoor connection. But you'll look over here by the way, the reason we're here, this just opened up here in the fields of Frisco. This is extremely exclusive right now. And if we came in here during normal business hours, there'd be probably a hundred agents lined up here. But our good friends at Kingdom Cleanup, uh, that is the cleaning crew here and they clean all new construction homes. Uh, so if you're a builder and you need a, a really good cleaner, Kingdom Cleanup is the company to do that. They let us in here nice enough to you know, give us the inside scoop here. So you're seeing this unobstructed, no traffic running through here, and it's absolutely amazing. But look at this, room for your TV up on the fireplace, uh, seating area right through here. I mean, this outdoor built-in kitchen with sink, your Wolf grill on its own. Oh, don't wanna cook that up right there. But the hood, I mean, to have a hood in your outdoor kitchen, that really says something for you right there. Then you come out, you've got turf, so you got easy access through there, and this amazing lap pool. So you wanna get, you wanna get the exercise in, you come out here, you've got the dunk pool, kind of the spa, hot tub area, but then you have your lap pool right here, which, you know, nice and convenient, do some laps through here. Plenty of room for more seating now, and you've got sliding glass doors to your bathroom area as well. So you'll definitely wanna put some shades up in there and you come out here, more room for seating. You're gonna be able to work on your tan very easily out here. Get a couple of practice rounds in here before you head over to the PGA, right? So uh, make sure you practice up right here before you, you get over there because you don't wanna be embarrassed in front of your friends, right? So make sure you get a couple of those shots in again. Turf on this side just for easy maintenance. Keeps it nice and simple. Your pool equipment off to the side, nice and quiet over there and you're going to love that primary bedroom and bathroom. So let's go in and take a look at that. Now tell me what you thought about that backyard. Leave me a comment below. Was it enough or do you need a little bit more? But look at this, you have this sliding glass door that opens all the way up that will give you that indoor outdoor feel, especially for you Californians. We know you love that. And then you walk directly here into your office, which again has sliding glass doors that open up almost all the way there. So if you have the glass doors here open, you're just gonna have this nice connection to the outside. And this office is amazing. And I cannot get over the textured wallpaper throughout this entire house. They really added that nice touch. And you walk over here, you're out looking the backyard. It'll be nice and easy to keep an eye on things going outside. And then you step into almost like you could have the assistance nook uh, here, so to speak, which I think is really cool. Uh, if you're doing a lot of work from home and you got somebody that helps you, a team member, they've got a nice little place that they can come in and hang out. Then you walk back out through the office area, down the hallway, and you're going to come into your primary bedroom, which is, I mean, absolutely stunning. Again, this textured wallpaper on here is beautiful. The light fixtures, the ceilings that just give this room a lot more depth and height. Then we step into this amazing primary bathroom. And I just gotta, first of all, point out this double vanity here that overlooks the backyard area or part of the backyard and your putting greens back there. But uh, amazing natural light throughout here. Massive garden tub here, but this, this shower, $18,000 worth of marble just in this shower alone. You've got two shower heads, the personal nozzle and the rain head shower up at the top and a very nice transom to make sure that uh, you know you don't get any mold growing in there. That's a really nice touch. And then you're gonna cross over here. You've got an area for a coffee bar, uh, placing your towels. You've got this throne room off to the side and you walk into 
your California closet where there should be plenty of room, hopefully, for everything you need to place in here. And it's just uh, really very well done. A couple of the communities here in Fields are Brookside and the Preserve. They have a very unique topography with a remarkable 200 foot elevation difference from slope bluffs to the banks of Panther Creek. Fields boasts topography unseen anywhere else in North Texas. You'll have pedestrian friendly trails where the community features miles of trails that lead through the community providing residents with opportunities for scenic walks and enjoyable outdoor activities. There will be a chain of lengths enhancing the natural beauty in the area providing serene water features for residents to enjoy. You'll even have access to pedestrian and bridges that create convenient and visually appealing connections within the community, allowing residents to easily explore the various amenities and landscape. There will be several hills that overlook the golf course, providing views of the spots for relaxation and appreciation of the natural surroundings. As far as amenities, there will be no shortage of them. There will be community event spaces from covered gazebos for classes and get togethers to epic outdoor amphitheaters. Throughout the fields, you'll have multiple tennis courts. And of course, with the PGA close by, you have two 18 hole golf courses where both beginners and advanced players will have plenty of space to play a few rounds. Several playgrounds will be featured throughout the entire community for the children to play, as well as miles of hiking and biking trails. There is even going to be an outdoor farmer's market within the community. And we're gonna take you to a couple of more model homes so you can see the inside of what's going on here. But also you will have the Universal Studios water park that's being built inside the fields as well, which will be easily accessible to get to. I mean, you'll be able to golf cart your happy self all through this entire neighborhood to the golf course, to Universal Studios, to uh, the amenities and the parks and the everything that's going, I mean, this is gonna be crazy. Let's go check out these model homes. Now this should give you an idea of what some of the smaller homes look like. And I say smaller with air quotes, all right? So uh, let's be mindful of that. First, you're gonna walk in, you'll see beautiful hardwood floors throughout this entire house, but they have this built up as a dual office area. So if uh, the both of you are working from home, then you've got plenty of office space here, plenty of cabinetry with the walk-in closet. You're gonna come in here, beautiful wainscoting throughout here. You've got a full bath off to this side uh, right there, which your guests can easily access. You're gonna come in here to the primary bedroom, which is right at the front side of the house. Nice custom back wall that they have and uh, this primary bathroom, very nice uh, stand-in shower, walk-in closet, separate throne room, makes it really nice uh, through here. Then you're gonna come through and head down the hallway and come to your open concept area uh, where you have living, dining, kitchen, all in one space through here. And uh, that way when everybody's hanging out, they'll be able to easily see everybody. Beautiful waterfall countertop here with the undermount farm sink. Uh, I mean, beautiful stonework that they have through here. Custom cabinetry, amazing uh, six burner KitchenAid stove through there laundry room, garage to the back. Uh, you have a, a back uh, yard, which is a little bit on the small side, I would say, but it's still, uh, again, you're coming here not to mow your lawn. <laughs> you're coming here to take advantage of all the amenities uh, that, that this community has to offer and everything that's close by. We'll take you for a quick look upstairs and then we'll head to the next one. Builds West aims to establish itself as a formidable competitor to Legacy West. To accomplish this, the Fields West will contain corporate office space with 325,000 square feet, providing a business environment and catering to the needs of companies looking for strategic and upscale location. The dedicated area for retail, restaurant, and entertainment spans 350,000 square feet, offering a diverse selection of shopping, dining, and entertainment options. Fields West boasts 1,200 Irving living residences, likely townhomes, providing a vibrant resident community within the hearts of Fields. There will also be 375 hotel rooms, including renowned brands such as the Ritz-Carlton and the Autograph Collection by Marriott. Currently, two residential sub-neighborhoods will be available in the Fields, which are Brookside and the Preserve. 
The first phase of development includes the two residential neighborhoods of Brookside and the Preserve, both of which will be situated on the western side of fields, a close distance to the golf courses. There are both lots and completed builds available for purchase. Brookside will provide more traditional homes that will be more affordable than the Preserve. It includes Britton Homes, Darling Homes, which will be villas starting from the 800,000s, Huntington Homes, Olivia Clark Homes, Shattuck Homes starting from the 780,000s, and the Toll Brothers starting at 1.3 million. The preserve will feature more luxurious homes and will have a California-esque feel to it. Alfred Homes starting at $3 million. Bella Custom Homes, Coates Homes, Endurance Homes, Faulkner Perrin Custom Homes, Hawkins Wellwood Homes, Shattuck Custom Homes, Sheriff and Munir Custom Homes, Starside Custom Builders, and Ventura Custom Homes. Now let's take a look inside real quick. This is a Toll Brothers property. These are going to be starting at 1.3 million. Of course, this one isn't finished quite yet, but it should give you an idea. You've got that Spanish feel here, so you're gonna have different styles of homes to be able to go through, but wanted to just give you a little inside look, which looks pretty nice. Looks like this will be uh, a movie room right over here off to the side. Yeah, clearly a movie room. They've already got it nicely painted, wet bar over on that end. Uh, yeah, you'd hook up everything on that end. Then let's just take a quick look. There's gonna be a lot of noise and construction going on here. But let's take a look at this layout and you'll see what they have. Beautiful stone fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling. Amazing open concept to the kitchen, opening that up. And of course, you've got your massive sliding glass doors. And if we come out the back side, let me show you uh, what you'll see. So you got a nice covered patio back here. And this is what I love about this part of Frisco. We, I always talk about what I don't like about Dallas is lack of mountains and beach and it's mostly flat. But when you get up here in this area, you start to hit a little bit of an elevation change. You'll kind of notice, I mean, it's very hilly throughout here. You can see the, the PGA headquarters and the Omni Hotel right back there. That's how close you'll be. That's, it's in this whole community of the fields in Frisco. Uh, which we're going to take you to that later on. But you can see here where they're starting to build everything out and they're working on just moving a lot of dirt right now. The Omni PGA Frisco Resort will be the new home of modern golf where players of all ages and skill levels can enjoy the game. In addition to unique simulation and coaching experiences, Omni PGA Frisco Resort will be home to ample play options. These options feature two 18-hole championship golf courses, Field Ranch East designed by Gil Hance and Field Ranch West designed by Bo Welling. The swing, the lighted 10-hole par 3 short course, and the dance floor, the two-acre putting course and entertainment area. For golf Golfers and non-golfers alike, sun up to sundown fun and enjoyment opportunities abound at the PGA District where a variety of signature dining and retail concepts, virtual game experiences, and programmed entertainment are the hub for visitors. The PGA Frisco will open to local residents, Club 1916 members and resort guests, and will be open for membership soon. And here we are at the Ronnie Park. Now this is a public park open for everyone except for the hours between 2 to 6 when it's closed for private lessons for kids. But this is really geared towards the kids. You can see they have a ton of putty greens around here and they've got the playground area over in the backside. They've got ping pong, they've got cornhole, and you're just right here in the middle of everything. They even have a clubhouse, so if you have a private party or a public party, I, I guess, uh, then you've got room in there for drinks and refreshments. Get some AC as well if it gets a little too warm out here. But otherwise, this is really, really nice. There's plenty of space out here. It goes on and on and on. You're probably seeing the drone footage right now. It's a cool little park. It's a great way to get your kids started off in some golf, get some practice swings and some putts in here. Well, let's go check out the next part. Now the cool part here at Ronnie Park, as we just learned from the CEO, is that there was five kids that grew up, you know, a part of this program here, including Jordan Spieth who you know won the masters a couple of years ago and what they've done on this putting green is recreated some of their championship shots so that you can stand in the exact location and you can try to sink a putt over there to mimic their exact championship shot which we're about to attempt and let's see how we do
here we are at the Ice House, which combines barbecue, good food, good drinks with the driving range aspect of it as well. This is open to the public. You can come during the day on weekdays, $25 an hour to drive or $50 an hour on nights and weekends. Let's try our luck and take a shot. The Ice House. Located in the PGA District, the Ice House is a modern ranch style beer garden concept that incorporates six live hitting bays at the back of the venue and features expansive views overlooking the swing. And they have on-site shops in case you uh, pack for accidentally one less day of your trip, right? You can come in and look around and buy some clothes. Let's go check it out. Here we are in the PGA shop. Now this is what I'm talking about. You can do all your shopping and get a drink at the same time. Nothing like a free Arnold Palmer while you shop. This, the, I, I get it what they're doing here though. They're trying to make you buy more, right? Or they're trying to lower your judgment here. <laughs> and now we're at the lounge by Top Golf here. And you can see on the screen, it's not just driving you can do here. They've got Jewel Jam, Top Zombie Dodgeball. I'm gonna, we're definitely gonna get into some of that. Carnival Classic, Soccer, Quarterback Challenge, Hockey, you can do hockey, they've got hockey sticks, and for the golfers, if you wanna do full swing, you can do that as well. But I think I wanna start out, we already hit, we already drove a little bit, let's, let's try some zombie dodgeball. That's the, no, let's do a quarterback challenge. Then we'll get to zombie dodgeball. The Lounge by Top Golf. Located in the PGA District, craft cocktails and locally curated dishes combine with industry-leading Top Golf swing suite technology and a variety of virtual games to create fun, interactive experience. Now it's time for some zombie dodgeball. Who doesn't love a good ice cream on a nice hot summer day? Let's go check this place out. All right, so I opted out of getting ice cream during working hours. I went with the iced Americano as I usually do and it's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely refreshing on this nice spring day here in Texas. Beautiful weather. It's amazing. Let's go check out the clubhouse. 
And if you're an A-list celebrity, you can rent out these ranch houses right here overlooking the putting greens, the golf course. They're not cheap, so definitely check on pricing before you head over here but they're pretty nice. And let us know what you think so far of everything that you're seeing. Drop a comment below. Have you visited over here yet or are you planning to? And let us know what your favorite spot is. Let's go check out some more. Welcome to the clubhouse. This is absolutely amazing. Not only do you have another golf shop to the right of me, but on the other side, you have some fine dining as well that we're about to go check out the inside. But otherwise, this is nice and quiet. Some lounge music going on. You can overlook the golf course just hanging out here. They've got some really cool historic pieces displayed at the front. Really adds a nice touch to the ambiance of the golf club here. So let's check out a little bit more of it. And now that you're inside the Omni, there's no shortage of shopping here as well. This is just one of several stores inside the hotel. Amazing bar, restaurants, uh, views all around. Let's go check out this one. We haven't bought enough already, right? and more shops. And that wraps up our tour of the PGA here today. And again, let us know what you thought about everything that you saw, but I think it's time to grab a bite real quick. And uh, we're going to meet up with Travis and the family and everybody else. And again, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make that smooth move to Dallas. And until next time, well, we hope to show you around town. Got the gas grill station, the restroom, fountains and showers, the playground, picnic table area, boardwalk, beach, volleyball, small boat launch, overlook, waiting area, swimming area, boating area, bike racks, and the pavilion. Bam. It's all there.